Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at past, present, future energies for you in love, as well as the energies between you and the person that you will be dealing with. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Leo watching. All right, let's jump right in for Leo. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please. For Leo, regarding love. What does Leo need to know, Spirit? What does Leo need to know regarding love? What does Leo need to know? Past, present, future energies for Leo. about to say i don't have reversals here ace of swords past energy present energy ace of pentacles and then nine of cups in the near future um okay when i read these energies together i think of some sort of message ace of swords some sort of truth communication and then an offer ace of pentacles that comes in for you leo and the nine of cups tells me you're going to be very happy with this offer you'll be very happy with what you're hearing what you're seeing it's an offer that perhaps was a wish for you on your side i have the chariot with the fool oh yes cancer energy so you're moving into something new what about on their side queen of pentacles and the higher font taurus energy okay so this could be somebody that you end up you could end up be married to this person or they're thinking of marriage. I'm really hoping they're not already married. <laughs> We're going to see. Bottom of the deck. Oh, geez. Overall energy is the moon, Pisces. Um, okay, so let's look at this in a, with a positive angle, right? The positive angle that I see is that whatever's happening here, you're not expecting, right? It, there's a secretive element here to these energies, that's the positive spin. <laughs> the not so positive spin would be that there's something that you're not aware of, that there's an illusion, perhaps, something that looks good on the outside. But when you look at it a little bit closer, it's not what it appeared at first glance. So let's get some energies out here and then we'll start clarifying. Remove your energies here. Got a little bit of room. Spirit, can we get a little bit more insight, please, on the energies for Leo regarding love? I am looking on the bright side so far, Leo. I'm, I'm optimistic, right? Benefit of the doubt, all that. Energies for Leo, please. Energies for Leo in love. What are the energies for Leo? Energies for Leo regarding love. Wow, lasting promise. The com this connection will stand the test of time. This is like my marriage commitment card, like my Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this is my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. By the way, I designed this deck. If you're interested in any of the decks that I use, I think I'm going to be using mainly my own decks. We'll see. Um, but they're all listed in the description box. What else for Leo? What do we need to know? Far apart, distant separation, divide. And then new beginnings at the bottom of the deck. Okay, something's up. <laughs> Again, positive spin. <laughs> the positive interpretation of this is that you could be meeting someone that is not from where you live. They could be from far off country. It could be a long distance connection. Um, maybe you just haven't met this person yet. They're far from you, right? That's the positive spin. The not so positive spin is that there's a separation in a commitment. So let's, let's see what's going on because I feel like up till now, all the cards that I've gotten up till now could be interpreted in very different ways. <laughs> so let's clarify. Spirit, can I get some clarity, please, for Leo? 
clarity please spirit on these energies for Leo let's start with the moon that's the overall energy why everything is happening oh the knight of cups wanted to show itself tell me about the moon spirit tell me about the moon why is the moon here the emperor aries energy why is the moon here why is the moon here oh i got two six of cups and the devil capricorn energy See, I still am not getting a clear indicator here. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so the Emperor, the Devil, the Six of Cups. Oh my gosh. I, again, Leo, and I'm not just saying this. <laughs> I don't know if there's any um, tarot interpreters or people that actually interpret their own readings at home or whatever. But when you look at these energies together, it, it can be interpreted in more than one way so i'm just going to tell you what i see so far and then we'll see how i can narrow down the message right but right away the emperor they take charge they like things a certain way masculine energy divine masculine energy um they tend to be um decisive um the emperor knows what they want and how to get it they're warriors they have a lot of wisdom and so when it when it's time to get something done that's who you want to get something done um six of cups could be um in you know especially with the two of cups here this could be soulmate energy someone that you have a very strong sweet connection um the past is also indicative here so like this could be a past person the emperor but then i have the devil the devil's about could be a capricorn right aries capricorn here um but the devil is a card about restriction bonds attachments temptations why is the devil here i feel like i don't want this to be a complicated reading but like <laughs> it's like spare has uh, another idea in mind okay why is the devil here the two of cups again why is the devil here? Two of Wands. A path. Two of Wands is about a choice that leads you down two very different paths. Okay. Tell me about the Emperor. Nine of Wands and the Magician. Okay, so out of struggle, I feel like the emperor is trying to manifest or make something happen despite difficulty. Tell me about the, the devil again, please. Why is the devil here? The lovers. Okay. The lovers, six of cups, two of cups. Uh, I am instantly thinking about a soulmate. Two of wands and the lovers. This could be interpreted as... A big choice because the lovers is really a card about a choice between what your heart is telling you and what your mind is telling you that duality right you could listen to either or depending on what you want so I feel so far because I still need to find out what's going on here this Emperor is somebody that you're dealing with or could be dealing with in the future they could show up they're coming in um, and I feel like they're coming in um, without you knowing about it with the moon here. They could have made a choice, a difficult choice, this emperor. Maybe they listened to their heart and now they're coming forward. I still feel like this could be so many different stories so i'm going to keep going and see what else i can get here with narrowing down this message tell me about the ace of swords why is the ace of swords here for leo the moon <laughs> pisces energy okay so i get i guess that this message is this emperor is probably going to bring you a message that's unexpected i feel like this is connected 
Something about the Ace of Swords or Clarity, where there wasn't Clarity before. Again, with this choice, someone's probably communicating a choice they've made or you're communicating a choice you've made. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, I still feel like, yeah, this Emperor is coming in. Whoever they are, they're coming in. They've made a difficult choice. And they're coming in with the Knight of Cups. This is a soulmate. And there's a big offer here with the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, Temperance. Sorry, I hit the tripod. Sagittarius energy and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like whoever is bringing you this offer, it's taking them a little time to get to you. So this could be, you could be single, like you might not even meet this person or know of this person yet, Leo. And this person finally shows up. I mean, I don't see anything here that specifically says this is something someone you've had a history with so far. But this could also be someone you've been waiting for, an offer you've been waiting for here. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Oh my gosh. Page of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're really happy to hear from this person. You're really happy to receive this message. Whatever action this person's taking, I see you kind of happy about it. Nine of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Five of Wands. You know, I feel like you've been through a lot. Let's say you're, you're I'm speaking to a single Leo right now, someone that you've been single and waiting for love to walk into your life. I feel like you've been stressed about love or stressed about, you know, relationships in general. Maybe you haven't had the best relationships and then this comes in and it's beautiful. I keep getting this kind of message for other signs too, like something new, a shift happening. Um, and Pisces is here, the moon. And there's like some astrological things that are happening with Pisces. Let me not get into astrology because I'm not an astrologer, but I do, I obsessively watch them. So um, there's a lot of things happening astrologically that are causing major shifts, shifts for a lot of signs. Um, there's solar eclipses and a bunch of other stuff. Um, but anyways, whatever this is that's coming in, you're going to be happy about it. If you've been waiting for a specific person to decide finally if they want to commit to you, if they want to take this to the next level, if they want to move in, if they want to marry you, I feel like that decision has been made and someone's just ready to finally go after this. And it's been a battle. It's been a battle to get here. This has not been easy. Let me get a romance angel. I don't see anything really questionable here, you know, because I was worried about the moon and the devil energy here but in the nine of wands. But I think that this emperor has just overcome difficulties to make this happen. Spirit, can I get a little bit more insight into the energies here for Leo in love? Second half of May. What do we need to know for Leo? What do we need to know? Okay, I keep getting more than one card. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other and go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Express your love. Yeah, there's going to be a very special conversation that takes place. This Ace of Swords is very important. I think it's coming with an offer. Let me get some energies down here for you and this person. Tell me about Leo's energies and this other individual's energies. Leo, I have you on the left. I have your person on the right, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Leo's energy. This is beautiful energy, the chariot and the fool. Tell me about Leo's energy. Poverty, what are these two? Bad health. And privileged lady. Okay, so I, I see that you've had, yeah, a glow up. Because at the bottom of the deck, I have change. Something's changing for you, Leo. If you've been feeling depressed, sad, um, lost, like you've had a loss, like you haven't been able to overcome 
difficulties, etc. I feel like there's a shift happening here for you. You're getting like a glow up. That, that's a, I just thought of, about like a glow up at the minute I saw these energies. Um, and it's because there's a change happening. There's a change happening in your life. Okay, tell me about this other person. This person that Leo is dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? Despair. My goodness, you guys are both going through it. What do we need to know about this person? Message of concern and main female. Yeah, this person's worried. They're probably worried about being rejected. Gift is at the bottom of the deck. You know, when they do bring you this offer, if it is a proposal, I mean, this could be a proposal as well um, with the Ace of Pentacles. You know, whatever they, they're offering you here, if, the, if this is them and their energy coming towards you, they're thinking marriage, Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant. They're thinking stability. They're thinking tradition. They're thinking doing things like a traditional courtship, doing things right, going through the necessary steps. But I think this person's worried you're going to, um, yeah, message and gift. When they do bring you this message and then make you this offer, will Leo accept? Okay, tell me about the chariot and the fool. Moving forward into a whole new cycle here with the chariot and the fool. Mickey moves, headed in a different direction. Tell me about the chariot and the fool. What do we need to know? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Tell me about the chariot and the fool. Three of Pentacles, the sun. Wow. Ten of Cups and the High Priestess. Oh my goodness. Okay. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are going to be like shocked. <laughs> I really feel like um, a lot of you, maybe you had a, a secret desire, a secret hope, a secret dream that this would happen, that this would be your life, that this King of Pentacles will walk into your life, this Emperor will walk into your life. And now that it's here, it's like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do with all of this. The Sun and the Ten of Cups, this is like everything you could ever want. Pure happiness, pure joy. And the Three of Pentacles is someone that's willing to work with you, build with you. Yeah, look at this. It's like you're like, I don't know. I, I think I want to accept. It's everything that I've been waiting for. It's everything that I've been wanting. I'd be crazy to say no to this. That's your energy here. Some of you, yeah, you're really going to be thinking about this. The hangman. And some of you, I think when I see this card, I think open mind. So it's almost like maybe this isn't exactly the way that you hoped things would develop. But now that it's here, it's like, You'd be crazy to say no to this. Seriously. I think it's exactly what you need. It's the change that you need. It's what you deserve. But this is a definitive offer. Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Cups was there. Gift showed up. You know, I feel like this isn't just someone that just says, Hello, hi Leo, how are you? No. This is someone that's deliberate. You could be dealing with an earth sign as well. Tell me about the queen of pentacles and the higher font. What do we need to know about these energies, spirit? Wow, the knight of pentacles starting off strong. I'm telling you, whoever this is, they're very traditional. They're, they're not playing around. This is not a player. This is not an impulsive act strength leo energy this is someone controlled this is someone that is in charge of the situation um i'm getting this energy of someone that knows exactly what they want yeah eight of pentacles look at this energy and bottom of the deck the queen of cups are you freaking kidding me this is the energy of someone that's willing to put in the work um, again, not someone that's just saying things just to say them. And I feel like some of you, now that I'm looking at this far apart energy. I feel like you and this person might have been separated from like a past life. 
Like this could have been like a past life connection or time has passed since you last saw this person or they're just not from where you live. Like they're, you haven't interacted with this person. They're really far from you right now, but they're eventually going to get to you. Can I get one more energy for this Queen of Pentacles and the higher font? But this is someone that's like, I want to marry you. Again, they're not playing around, but I feel like they're scared. Um, that maybe you don't see them the same way. Ten of Wands, Three of Swords, okay. Seven of Pentacles. This person has been hurt in the past. I feel like you both have been hurt in the past. Maybe love hasn't been kind to either of you. But now it's like, it's your second chance. Let me get some more insight into this person. I'm just so curious about them. And I feel like they've overcome this difficulty. This emperor has overcome this nine of wands. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. This is from my Stellar Rainbow deck. Tell me about this person that Leo will be dealing with, Spirit. What do we need to know? Gemini, this is like the lovers, united and intense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Enthusiastic, energetic, and... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Exci excited and eager is these two. Wow, intense, united. Yeah, I feel like with Gemini, I'm getting, you know, this lover's energy. That's that's what I'm getting here. It's like, this is your other half. This is who you see yourself with. They've chosen you, I think. Or they've made certain choices that have led them to you. And I think that this is someone that's willing to work on things. You know, they, they, put, they put their money where their mouth is. That, okay. It's, it's kind of like the energy of someone that they walk the talk. Does that make sense? <laughs> An intense, profound, and earnest. It's like the higher font energy. Um, it's someone that is very focused. You know, that seven of pentacles, very focused. I think this person could be older. You could also be older, Leo. And you've already gone through certain experiences in love separately. And you've kind of been beaten up by love each, like, on your own. <laughs> And now that you're coming together, it's like the perfect fit. It just works. You'd be crazy to say no. So that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoy how I read and want to see more. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.